first of all, we are going to go back to the term allele. Today we are going to uh, work about how the alleles form, how the alleles are created or uh, how new alleles appear. What was allele, do you remember? Different versions of a gene. So there is one gene, but there are different versions of the same gene. What does it mean? There is one gene functioning in, for example, a metabolic way or uh, there is a gene and its function is to produce a protein which has structural function. Even though uh, they do the same work, the proteins may be in different versions. For example, the simplest example is ABO blood groups. ABO blood groups. Let's start with ABO blood groups. ABO blood groups. We uh, solved the problems about that in the first semester, you should remember. ABO blood groups. And there was our H blood group. <coughs> and MN blood groups. And there are a lot of other blood groups. For example, when we look at the uh, people, when we look inside a population, a group of humans, we will see a lot of people carrying A blood group, a lot of people carrying B blood group, and a lot of people carrying zero blood group. Now I'm going to ask you, who has A blood group? So three people have A blood group in this class, B. One, two, three. Ah, çok ilginç. That's very interesting because hands up. One, probably sign. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Also, çok ilginç. Ben de yedi. Zero. One, two, three. Huh? Dört mü? Four. A, B, A, B, yok, normal. Peki, RH pozitifler, RH pozitif, 10 kişi, negatif. Ne? Ben size ben sayıyorum. Sıfır mısın sen? <gülüyor> seni de sayıyorum. <gülüyor> yok, seni de... <gülüyor> are these phenotypes or genotypes? Neyse, so uh, these are the phenotypes. <clears throat> At the moment, what we know is phenotype. We know these four people's genotype. Their genotypes are... Sorry. Yes, that's correct. Lowercase i, homozygote. And this can be A dash IB lower dash. And we know this. So we can predict this is still prediction. Or we can directly say 0 and AB phenotypes have the same genotypes because there is no other alternative genotype. Now, uh, for these phenotypes, we need uh, one factor which affects these phenotypes. What's that factor? Unit factor. How do we call the unit factors? Unit factor now, today? Unit factor, bugün ne diyoruz unit factor'e? Gen, evet. So, these are unit factors. We know that everybody have two unit factors, which means everybody has two genes affecting each character. So this is one character, ABO blood group is one character, RH blood group is another character, and MN blood group is another character. Now, on the genome. On the genome, even though they are on different chromosomes, one gene is responsible for ABO, ABO gene. Another gene is responsible for producing the RH protein. So ABO gene produces ABO pro, uh, protein, which can be in three different versions. In three different, actually two different versions and uh, another possibility, the person may not have A or B protein. That's zero blood group. R, uh, RH is another gene and MN is another gene. This ABO locus, do you remember locus? 
Now, uh, actually, let's do it properly. I'm going to do it properly. This is one chromosome, and on this chromosome there is ABO gene. And this is second chromosome. On somewhere else in the second chromosome, there is RH gene. And on another chromosome, we have MN gene. Okay? But except for these genes, we know that there are a lot of other genes encoding some other proteins or some other RNA molecules. İlgilenden sadece bu kromozomdaki bu gen, bu kromozomdaki bu gen ve şu kromozomdaki şu gen. Şimdi üç farklı gen. So, now we are going to look at only ABO gene. Okay? When we look at the people, there are three different versions of ABO gene. Okay? In the first ABO gene, let's say, at this position, there is C. I can't remember, but I, I think it was, uh, it must, uh, as far as I remember, there were uh, a couple of uh, nucleotides different. And the other version of the same gene has T at the same position. And these genes have promoter regions, of course, because those are genes. There is another version of the same gene which lacks the promoter. There is no promoter in front of that gene, that version of the gene. Then how do I call it ABO blood group gene? How, why do I call it ABO gene? Because it's at this position of this chromosome. This specific position of this specific chromosome is ABO gene. So these are three different alleles of the same gene. We have ABO gene and we have three different versions of the same gene, of ABO gene. Those are alleles. One allele is A, the other one is B, the other one is zero. The difference, just one or two amino acids. In my example, this pretty, uh, hypothetical example, I say it, it depends on just change of one single amino acid because most of the proteins, most of different versions of the same protein are caused by a uh, change of just one amino acid. So in this example, since this protein is not that essential protein, it exists or not, we don't care. It doesn't affect our health. So we can be, uh, anybody can be in zero blood group or B, uh, B blood group, nothing differs, nothing changes. You are healthy people zero blood group or A blood group or B blood group. Who cares? Who cares? We care it only when we need to trans transfuse the blood. So one gene, three different alleles. Let's say in this class, we have three people carrying A allele, at least one A allele. We don't know if they are homozygote or heterozygote. But again, let's keep going hypothetically. 